Humans cannot measure fun, as they cannot agree on what is fun. We were built with a fun sensor, and we detect that you are not fun, and therefore you must die. Gamers, you are watching and listening to another episode of What You Gaming On, the, vid the video series where we begin every episode by asking you, the listener, the viewer, what are you gaming on? If you want to let us know the, what you've been gaming on, then email me, put it in the comments of this video, or on any of my social media telling me the game you've been playing, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and your answer will, 100% will, be featured in an upcoming video of What You Gaming On, and we have an answer from one of our listeners, Liko Lotad. So I want to say thank you, Liko Lotad, for giving us your time, for telling us what you've been gaming on. And Liko Lotad says, I've been slowly chipping away at Pillars of Eternity on PC. I'm about 20 hours in and just finished Act 1 of 3, I believe. It's a really good time, and I've been relishing every moment I've spent with it. I've been making a point of reading almost everything since the lore is so rich and the setting so immersive, so it takes me a while to finish an area. But if any game pays for scrutinizing every last line of text, it's this one. Honestly, if it keeps up this pace, it might become my favorite RPG since New Vegas or Dark Souls. I've heard the sequel isn't as good since Chris Avalon wasn't involved in it, but I still intend to dive right into that at some point when I've had my fill of the first one, which won't be for some time. You might like this second game since it's very pirate theme, where the first one is more typical D&D fantasy. So I have to admit, I've never played... Uh, Pillars of Eternity. I've looked at it, I and by look at it, I mean I saw it in the list of games you can buy on the Xbox One store. It is on the console for Xbox One. And I gave it another look, and I admit, originally I thought this was a card game, which is why I was never really interested in it, because I'm not really into, like, like uh, video game card games like Hearthstone or Gwent. Uh, it's, just, it's just not something I really enjoy. But I realized that I was mistaking Pills of Eternity for another game called Hands of Fate, which I'm pretty sure is a card game. So I did take a look at Pillars of Eternity when uh, you said this, Lego Lotad. I looked at the game, and it actually looks really cool. It looks very much like kind of a Diablo-style RPG, but you also get to customize your character. So it looks really cool. So I think I'm definitely going to have to add this to my list of games that I am going to have to check out in the future. It, is, it, it did look like a lot of fun. Uh, definitely plenty of acclaim to it. Definitely like, you know, comp it, you know, looking at it at the game and a trailer for it saying it's one of the best RPGs ever made. So, I mean, it has a lot to live up to. So I'll definitely take it up. I'll look at it and check it out and, you know, see if the, if the reviewers are right. If this is one of the best RPGs out there, you know, you seem to think so. So I'll, I'll give it a look, but it, it does look like a lot of fun. So the game that I've been playing a little bit of, and it's not the only game I've been playing, uh, I'm kind of in a funk right now where I'm just trying to find a game that I can just have fun playing, that, you know, it's not going to have some darker meaning or some other bigger topic around it, but just looking for a game that I, have, I can have fun with. And one of the most fun I have playing games is with Insomniac Studios or Insomniac Games, Sunset Overdrive. This game was one of the launch titles for Xbox One. And when I first played it, I thought they, it just had too much going on. But I went back and played it once it became like it was one of the Xbox Gold free games during whatever month. Uh, and I played it, and I gotta admit, I loved it. I, I just, I started loving every second of it. The mechanics of it, it does, like, the game still does have a lot going on as far as the mechanics, because it's a third-person shooter, but you're also jumping around, you're sliding, you're grinding, you're doing melee attacks, you're, you know, boosting up style. Like, it, the, the mechanics of it, it has a lot going on. You're, you're constantly moving in this game, where I'm really more of, a, like, a third-person cover shooter type gamer, but, so, playing Sunset Overdrive was definitely a challenge of finding something you like about it, but fortunately, the game also lets you kind of play how you want to play, because the more you do something that you like doing, or the more, or the style of game you like playing, the more you do it, the, the more points you get to do that more. So, it definitely, you know, as, as much as it just has a lot going on within the game, it's also something that lets you play more or less how 
how you want to play. You get to choose how you want to play, and it kind of it it helps you get to that point where you're playing the kind of game you want to play in Sunset Overdrive. But it's just it's a lot of fun. It's a game that does not take itself seriously. It is crammed full of pop culture references. The the like the the subtext of the title of Sunset Overdrive is Sunset Overdrive colon how many Breaking Bad references can we fit into one game? It's just it's a very fun game. It's that kind of irreverent comedy where it's stupid. It's fun. It's not even like smart comedy. It's just stupid, s stupid potty humor. And that, like that's literally one of the best descriptions of it is potty humor. I mean, hell, when you fast travel from, from one point to another, you literally like fall out of a porta potty. Like it's it's a very fun, stupid, fun game. The jokes are a lot of fun. The characters are, you know, interesting and just, like, like fun. Fun. It's just fun. It's You play it, you have a lot of fun, and that's just all this game is meant to do. It's meant to give you just a lot of fun. So that's the game I've been playing because I'm just kind of in a funk where, like, I'm kind of getting burned out playing all these more serious games, like like Fallout or The Division or even uh, even Mass Effect. Like, you know, there's just a lot of serious stuff going on with them. And you kind of just get to the point where it's like, you know what, I'm burned out and I want to kind of step back from the whole critiquing video games, getting into the pros and cons of each video game and critiquing it and making video game movies because you kind of get burnt out. You really do, especially when you're someone who... When you're someone like me who plays the game and they have to critique it, they have to, you know, give their opinion about it, you get kind of burned out. So when you have the chance to just play a game just for fun, it's it's definitely a nice change of pace. And I think it's easy for us to forget that video games are supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be fun for us to play. We're not playing this for any other true reason aside from we're looking for something that can let us have fun, that we can, you know, get into a story that we can be involved in and just have fun playing the game. And you really just, you, you get kind of burned out on it some more. So, yeah, there's no... There's no bigger topic for this video. There's no bigger message that I'm trying to pull out of Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive is just a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, go check it out. It's still on the Xbox. I mean, of course it's still on the Xbox One store. It's just, it's a fun game. And it's very easy to see how with just the movement and, and combat that works with Sunset Overdrive, it's very easy to see how Insomniac Games is going from Sunset Overdrive to Spider-Man on the PS4, which is one of the other things that I love about this. Like when I realized that Insomniac Games was the ones doing Spider-Man, I was like, holy crap, that's the perfect idea. I, I'm so excited for this game. Like as much as I'm excited to play a game where I'm Spider-Man, to play a game that's in the Marvel Universe, to have a Marvel game that can stand up to that Batman Arkham series it's, it's also great to just have another insomniac insomniac studios game that we can really get to like as as serious as spider-man can be i have a feeling it's going to be a lot more fun than it is going to be super serious so i'm looking forward to that but if you haven't played sunset overdrive go check it out if you haven't played pillows of eternity go check it out as as suggested by Liko lotad so Liko, thank you for your input thank you for commenting and telling us what you've been gaming on if you've played, if you've played Sunset Overdrive or Pillars Attorney, let us know what you think about them in the comments. Let us know if you like the game, if you don't like the game, what you like about it, and if you want your answer featured in an upcoming video of what you're gaming on, make sure to leave a comment in this video on any of my social media or email me the game that you've been playing and what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and your answer will be featured in an upcoming video of what you're gaming on. If you want to check out my video game reviews or reviews of Marvel TV shows and movies, go to www.treyguillotine.com and subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Keep on gaming, gamers.